Okay, push it out. Got it? Yep. Hi, Justin with Seaboard Marine here. This week on the lobster boat, we're getting the last of the fiberglass work done before we can drop the engine. You can see behind me here, we have the cabin door. We also added ventilation for the engine room. This is where the engine's gonna get all of its air. You can see here, we did a few calculations to make sure we had the proper airflow for the engine. The customer did a great job building his own stairs. Also this week, I spent some time in the lazarette putting together the fuel lines, the balancing line, from the tanks and the sight gauge. Just put some fiberglass spacers for the vents gonna go over to the cover. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, gel coat it with wax so nothing can stick to it. This cover is gonna go right over, it's gonna be part of the vent. Air intake. It's gonna go just like this. Cool. What's that cover made out of? The Venisil foam core with fiberglass mat combo mat on each side? Here it is all done, ready for gel coat. This right here is, we made a air intake for the main engine, so we needed to have at least four inches of, of surface area for the engine to be able to get the air, fresh air, so it's about uh, 200 uh, square inches of air space in here, so there's about four here, Four on behind this thing and four on the top, so it kind of needs to go up and then come back down and we make some holes on the deck so it uh, kind of about the same amount of area. Okay, just for fun, thought we'd talk about this geometry here. So we had uh, 200 square inches of ventilation space for the engine. Enough room to drill four inch holes, so a four inch hole saw. And your area of a circle is pi r squared, so radius times radius times pi, you get 12.56 square inches per circle. And so to get 200 inches, you need 16 circles, which is uh, 79 inches long. And that was gonna be a little much, so we're trying to figure out ways to change the geometry a little bit. And we figured out if we drilled two holes together and just slip between them, that's eight inches. Um, and the area of this is, this is basically one whole circle. So you have that's 12.56 again but you also have the area of this square, which is four by four, 16. So now you only need seven holes, and it's only 68 inches long. And this has two inches of webbing between each one for strength, whereas this, with more frequent webs, 
at one inch, we decided to do two inch webs here. So it worked out, it's plenty strong, it looks nice, and it got us our area in a little more compact space. No, you're on a roll, you're doing great. I'll use a lot of that, but just do it one more time, that way. Yes, go ahead and you use that. Go no, ahead and no, you do it. Come on. come on, come on, come on. You're doing great. I already did that thing. You I already, there, trust me, there's plenty of me in this video. I know, I know. ready? Yeah.